Hey, it's Don. We're at a flea market right now. I've got my son here. We are going to see what we can find. Hopefully we'll find something interesting and we will go from here. We'll show you what we find at the end. We'll show you some shots in here. Hopefully enjoy it. Rolling stones. If you see something you want to, let me know. Who's, who's, are they? They're yours? I think they might be Yeah, she just said they were, yeah. Interesting. I almost wish they weren't in this zone. Are these your best prices on these? So, what, what would your best price be if I say buy like five or six of these? Well, did you get what you wanted? Well, look them over good. Just don't be afraid. These are from the 50s. Yeah, I know. I know, I know the early. difference. I'm a paper guru, trust me. You too, man. And this is a World War II poster. Depending on the price, though, of course. Yeah, my, uh, oh, no, it's Mississippi, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not worried about the oh, flip okay. side. My wife's from Mississippi, so. Oh, jeez. Six, just let me think. Yeah. One, twenty. Let's do... Sixty bucks. I could do that, definitely. <clears throat> Sixty sounds very fair. I'll have to walk back up to the car, though, but that's fine. Just to carry them out, I don't have to walk around no, with those. No, no. You know? And they're going to stay nice in there. Yeah, definitely so. Well, thank okay, you very kindly. Yeah. Okay, if you just saw that, I just walked in the door. I was just talking about maps. I have a video ready to go up now. These are hand-colored original maps from the 1870s. I got them for 60 bucks, 10 bucks a piece. I'm gonna put like 75 bucks on these, no lie. This is how easy, you see the prices on there. So just FYI, this stuff's out there. Reminds me of that mom has. It is, it's the same, yeah. still here when I come back I might look at it no modern I always like those, but personal opinions. I had this. Oh, it's got top, top price, though. 
Pity the fool. Hey, this one's for Dom. Here you go, Dom. Dom should like that. Mr. T, Legos. Go ahead, I'm not trying to cut you off there, kidder. What about the Zippo you have sitting over there? Take care. Which one? Right here. That's a flying tiger Zippo. What are you asking? Huh? World War II flying tiger. I know what it is. Yeah, That's the original part of it. And the guy uh, changed, changed yeah, I know, the mechanism changed the and put a new one in. Yeah, that third one on that one. Just because it's a Zippo, you know, they're guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, I look at the... They're guaranteed, so... I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. I'll definitely give you two on the, the harness. All right, yeah, yeah. The harness buckles I always like. Yeah, I like the military, the yeah, earlier military. $10 on that one, so... My son will probably yeah, find something. You have to put that propane on that one. On that one, you get one of that. These are Civil War. Yeah, I saw that's a nice one. I think I've always bought something from you every time I've yeah. been here. I got a video on if you don't, is that offensive to you? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure before I said something. Well, you kept me naked. <laughs> no, no, you won't have to worry about that. We'll be all right with that, sir. Yeah, this is some of the how much I still the helmet stamp. Is it a dated one? I can't. U.S. government property. I don't know how old it is, but it starts the helmet stamp, which is kind of odd. Yeah, that one's hard to tell. I can't say for sure. It's yeah, definitely... Is, it's the original bag. I just don't know about the The bag, bag does look good, yeah. Let's, let me see what it... Is there a dating on it? No. There is on the top. Here. Was it twisted the date? 43. Oh, that's a good one. But that looks too new. Is, yeah, so it's about to sit in that. too new. I wouldn't <laughs> say it's something he did. It's just the facts. How much is the bayonet over there? Or the Japanese one. A lot of work. 20 minutes, he's got it loaded. We might take two hours to get it back to London. What's the tag say? She's ornery, though. Don't let her fool you. He did it for two years. I said, no, you're not doing it anymore. There's the U.S. on the... Yeah, that's a real one. Or it's Vietnamese or something. These look like Vietnamese to me. They had the characters on the back also. Yeah, see, I couldn't tell you. I don't know enough about the way they're written like that. That could be Chinese. It could be Vietnamese. Plus, I don't know the yeah, I don't know those either. Well, look around. There's some more stuff over here, too. Okay. That's a few well, musket things here. Oh, Way balls. too much, yeah. I already bought a Civil War piece already. I don't know. Let's see what I got. Yeah, sure. It's a harness buckle. Oh, that's cool. It's original, guaranteed. Had a, I don't know, a dozen of those probably. Oh, there's an interesting pen. Do not those. open, so always pay attention. Here's another one for Dom. George of the Jungle. Playing cards are always good, so a little worn. Yeah. What about your uh, clip-ons? 
Your linens? Those John Lennons, you mean? <laughs> no, they, these all those are slide-ons. They're yeah, not. No, that, that trying to give me a hard time now. That I blue see. one reminds me of John Lennon. Yeah, I, it, no, exactly. He's got one with uh, round. Ten dollars for the lot. Just because they're, you don't see too many of those around. You know, I'm, I'm going to take you up on that one. That one. All right. Just because of the blue. Yeah, I like the blue one. Yeah, that's my favorite. I haven't had a blue one in probably a year. Yeah, so. some girl wore it for a few minutes. She said she liked it, but she didn't want to pay the price. I said, well, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> you know, I don't blame that's you. That's, that's life. That's as cheap as you can go on these. Yeah, and that's a real reasonable price, so I'm not going to argue with you on yeah. that one. I love, I wear glasses, and I love eyewear, so... You want an eyeglasses check? I'll check the glasses. I, yeah, I saw that one. I, that I wouldn't be interested, but these are still something I yeah. could wear if I really wanted to be yeah, weird one day. Of, um, Marion, the doc, uh, doctor and Mary needs to do eye, eye test a little before I got it. Before they have the one machine that does yeah. it all. Yeah, yeah, I got that you That was there. the old... 1905. That's an early one, I can tell you for yeah. sure. Turn of the century would be my oh, thanks, guess. Ben. Thank you. I'll probably swing back by. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull that rabbit out of the hat. You know who that is, right? No. no. Bullwinkle. Uh, you don't know Bullwinkle? How much are these over here, Paul? Like these two, or that two. This one I'm going to charge 50 bucks. 75 on each one of those. Yeah, that's too high for me. This is a refill. That's the yeah, refill. that's the way I was worried about too. Because Milk told me if it's magnetized, it's good. Yeah, because the new ones have aluminum inside or nickel, I think right. is what they make them out of. Yep, yep. What else are you looking at? What about the hat pin? Um, what's it worth? Ten? I don't know. I'd give you ten for it, cause I'll go 10. cause I'm gonna just give it to him. Right. What about the sh um, spark plug? Five. Okay, I'll do those both. That's fair. Bank of Canada might be good. What do you got on this one? This is 15. I'll take 10 out of those. Because I don't know much about it. You know. 42, 44, 54. 54. Because I got that in a box of stuff. You know. Yeah. There's only one card I'm looking for. There's a, the X rated Star Wars. That might be military, but I don't think so. Yeah. Looks like a helmet. It does. See this? Yeah. It is. It's just a can. That's weird. It's a kid's soapbox derby. Oh. Whose is uh? That's mine. Is that the best you do on it? Eighteen. Yeah, it sure does. But see how that somebody's repaired. I don't know. Yeah, it has been repaired. <laughs> and here's another one of these too. Are you no, not at all. <laughs> Did you get one of those maps? I got the six that I picked out. Oh, yeah, good. I couldn't beat the price. I got six of them for sixty bucks. Oh wow! I was like, yeah. sorry. That's pretty wild. Love the car. See the vent. Opens up when they go. Oh, okay. Let's air into the engine.
Harry? Yeah, I am. Those maps, boy. Uh, on maps. On water, yeah, hand colored watered maps. Yeah, and I sold every every one of them. What is it, Toledo? Mm, I don't remember what was that anymore. Yeah, no, I had a big book of them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Every one of those sold too. I had the whole book I cut up, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we got back, and I got a couple bags. We're gonna show you when we get back what we all found. So uh, you'll get to see that in just a few bits here. Okay, so we're back. Um, I spent $236 today. One item alone is gonna get me all of that money back and probably make a profit on that as well too. So I'm not gonna show you everything because there's a ton of stuff. Um, if I had to estimate, let me just show you some of what I got. Records, quite a good stack of them here. Top one's a scarce label, just to show you, and there's a couple other real good ones in there. I've got a bank. Now, this bank here, uh, he had 15. Um, I honestly, I have to ask my son what we paid for it, but most of these aren't worth but a few bucks. This exact same looking one, it comes in blue, red, green. I think there's four colors, but this one still has the original plug, and it's advertising a local bank. So this one here, it's a bank. It's literally what it is. This one here, I'm probably going to put 45 on it. I'll probably end up getting about 25 to 30. So real good one there. Now let me just, I got a couple of coins. Now I'm not going to show these out until I have a coin shop look at one of them. One of them I know what it is. I'll show you that one here real quick. This is a 1780 Thaler from, um, I believe this one's from Austria. This one's the real deal. It has the edge printing. Let's see. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it has edge embedded printing. It's not easily faked. There's a ton of reproductions and modern ones of these that just aren't worth much, but this one is the real deal. Um, I've had it. I have know the difference. It has a counter stamp in it. It's the only reason I can say it's real without having to take this one in. It's definitely silver either way. So I got this for less than silver value at the end of the day. The other coin is a 1776 error, and the coin is real, but if it's the right variety, I'm not a coin expert on the early colonials, but if it's more modern and newer coins, I'm pretty darn good on them. I know a coin gentleman that Ed from uh, Estate Jewelers, again, we're going back to Ed's here soon on the other channel. Um, so on the other channel, the art professor, you're going to get to see a lot of uh, interesting things at a jewelry store. We're going to go over the gold, the melting, everything. You're going to see us do some jewelry in the whole works. Um, but that coin guy that he knows, knows all this stuff. If it has the right variety on this thing, it's going to be worth some big bucks. So if not, it's still worth 100, 150, just the way it is for my 10 bucks. You see me buy it in the video. So if you take a close look, you might know what it is. Some photos here. This one was a dollar out of a bin, as well as this one. The same booth I got both of these from. Uh, let's see how well you can see it there. I know the light's messing it up a little bit. This one here for a dollar, I'm going to put, say, 45 or better on it. These cute girls and kids on ponies, I usually get about 15 or 20 bucks minimum on any of those. So for a dollar, records, as I always say, they were a dollar a piece. Now, this one here might be worth some big money. So this is from Wheeling, Virginia. Wheeling, Virginia. Now, someone out there is probably going to say Wheeling is not in Virginia, which is correct. Wheeling is in West Virginia. Wheeling wasn't in uh, Virginia past 1863. So that's the photographer took this photo of this young little girl here in uh, 1862 or before. So this is a 100% Civil War photo. Now, I know Wheeling, West Virginia, because I sell a ton of it. Postcards from Wheeling, West Virginia with mining or anything like that in it go for some insane money for that type of the area of the country. This one here might be worth a couple hundred bucks. No way I'm giving it away for less than, say, 60 or so, just because Wheeling is not in Virginia. They seceded, they became West Virginia, and Wheeling stayed in West Virginia. In 1863, they joined the Union instead of being part of the Confederacy. So this one is a historical photo. I have never, ever in my life seen anything written Wheeling, Virginia. 
I know it because I took it in, in college. We took a history class and it covered areas like that, the secessions and the whole work. So for my dollar, uh, I'm betting you that this will go for very, very, very bottom end 60. I'm going to put like 250 or higher on this, believe it or not. This is a CDV Carta Vista. It's an early photograph, a real photo. Now, the color may look a little weird to you, but in real life, it looks very nice. It's an early SEPA, which is typical for these really early ones. Usually when you run into them, they're maybe a little lighter and a different color, but this is an earlier one. This would have been taken in the Confederacy. This is a Confederate photo on top of it because Wheeling was part of Virginia in the Confederate era. Prior to that, there wouldn't have been, you know, CDVs available. It would have been a tin type. So this, again, is a very nice photo here for me. So price-wise, you know, 236 I'm going to get back out of what I bought for that amount of money. I'm talking well over a 1000 bucks. No way on earth it's, it's not going to. Probably closer to, say, 1800 or more bucks back on this. And that's not counting a couple bunches of stuff that I'll show you here in a few minutes. Postcards. Now, I'm going to show a bunch of the paper in my Patreon because there's just way too much in this one single stop. You look back, you'll see that I just had two bags of stuff. All of this stuff I'm showing you fit into two bags. One bag had the records and the paper in it. Another bag had the helmet you see me buy in there again. You can see the helmet on here. Same one. It's in the video. Um, I also got this here for 10 bucks. Now, he's not super, super valuable. It's a Gerber Plastics. I've seen some of these before. There's a whole series of these types. They're usually marked on the feet. Um, should be able to see it down there. It's a squeak toy, too. Probably 1950, early 50s through, say, 56, somewhere in that range. It could date back a hair earlier, but I really doubt it. Excellent condition. Price-wise, I usually get like 30 or 40 for these rubber ones. I've had other Gerbers before, too. Going to flea markets in antique stores and antique malls, this is the kind of stuff you run into a lot. I know people say, you don't find that. I don't see that in the real world. Well, most people don't shop where I do. Most people don't go to antique malls. Uh, let me just show you a couple other postcards here too while we're looking here let me there's a bunch of nice cats in here now this one i called out if you're in my patreon i talked about this maker so you might know what i'm talking about there's some nice ones in here real photo postcard real picture postcard from cleveland ohio on the beach it's id'd who they are too so that's just a couple examples here some some Cupid dolls. In fact, my favorite one, which the wife's already claimed, is this one here. Really cute card, honestly. She loves Cupid. So, um, anyway, the wife's got her own video coming out on here too. For those who want to see what she collects, we're going to start showing you some of our personal items here as well. You're going to see a whole video from the wife. Marky's going to show you Weebles. We're going to talk about that in a whole video here. You'll get to see her massive collection, and I do mean massive. When you see it, you'll be a little surprised. Um, toys are our thing. I'm a big geek nerd child still, I can say, for, for when it comes to toys and collectibles. Again, that's why I love what I do because I get to play and, and mess around with stuff. We got some Game Boys in the other day. I had to finish Yoshi's Island. Um, in fact, I ended up keeping it for right now. I got a whole bunch of uh, games for it too. Yoshi's Island was always one of my favorite games. One of the first ones on Game Boy that I ever finished through. So I know I'm a little old to playing to be playing Game Boy, but you know, you gotta have fun, you gotta blow steam off. I test everything we get. We've got Atari 2600 we're testing all the games in right now. So now this one here I paid a dollar for. This is a Marks. Um, these aren't worth a lot. I'd get six, seven bucks for it on its own like this, but I put it in lots. And I usually can crank out more out of it in a lot and say get eight, ten bucks. It'll spike the lot kind of you put some nicer items in there, and the lot'll go for a higher price as a big bulk sum here, so. Another Civil War item, this is a harness buckle. Now, if you look on eBay, you're going to see a bunch of these. Some of these are reproductions, and some of them are just, you know, later editions. This one's surely a Civil War one. I've dug these myself with a metal detector. I've had about a dozen non-dug ones and probably about six or eight dug ones. This is called a harness buckle, and it goes on the harness for the horses. Um, it's a really nice one. Now, there's a martingale that's like a round disc that has a similar heart on it, but it's a different part of the the leather work of a horse so this is a really nice one here i get about 15 or 20 bucks for my two dollar investment now you saw this one bought this is a uh champion spark plug again champion was founded in in our town here so this stuff shows up all the time i've showed you champion and probably a third of my haul videos now this is something different i knew instantly the second i saw the number on there this is an employee pin 
that, that they would have worn in the plant, either on the hat or something along that line. This has their employee number on it. So for five bucks, I'll probably get about 65 bucks for this. Now, if this didn't have a number on it, it was just a spark plug pin. Let's see if we can get a little closer there. This would have probably only been worth about 15 bucks, but this is an employee pin. I know that because, again, this stuff turns up around here. The founder lived here. His mansion is still here. It's a city park. So really interesting item. Now, this one here, I'm taking to Ed, and you're going to see Ed look at this one here soon, probably in the other channel, just because I don't want to be mixing videos back and forth. This one looks like it's gold. It has a marking that's buried underneath the back there. I can't make it out, but it's a heart. Looks like real stones, peridot maybe. Um, I don't have a stone tester, but there's inclusions in it, so it really looks like a, a real one here. It's a really nice looking pin. I paid $2 for this one. Even if it's not real stones, this is so unusual. I'd put $57.50. I bet I'll get $25 to $30 bucks for my $2. Let me show you a couple other things here. Now, I spent roughly 20 bucks. I put together a whole bunch of religious items. And most people don't mess with the religious items, and they're they're really missing out. I'm not going to show you much in here because I, I'm going to put this out in my Patreon. There's about 75 to 100 items in here, and I don't want to spend an hour just flipping through stuff that you folks may or may not be interested in. I'll show you just a couple here to give you an idea on some of the uh, uniqueness. Victorian, very nice lace paper. You're going to get to see this in the Patreon for those in Patreon. Oh, and Patreon group. Um, I know I was delayed and we did talk about that. The video is done. It is processing while you're watching this one. So it should be up probably before noon tomorrow. Nice example. You get to see that. Here's a really nice early. This one's from Italy. This is St. Joseph. You can see the, the awesome uh, lace work on the paper. I usually get about 30 or 40 bucks for some of these nice ones. I got 20 bucks into almost 100 of these. So flea markets are the bomb. Now these are relics. It has cloth embedded in here that was that touched a relic. And a relic, if you don't know, is sometimes it's the blood of a saint or something odd like that. I, I was born and raised Catholic. I was an altar boy, um, served for the bishop and stuff at the Holy Rosary Cathedral in Toledo, Ohio when I was younger. I was Boy Scouts. I did the religious merit badge at Altari Day. For those of you who know what Boy Scouts are, um, I earned the at Altari Day. I was only one um, in my, my troop and only one of two in the whole council for... The Toledo area, but um, I was big into the church for a very long part of my life. Um, so uh, I, I love the religious stuff. I've you know bought it and and messed with it for quite a while. We just sold a Bible, and I'll probably see, uh, show that in my uh, what sold on eBay videos. Seventy five bucks. It was a big, huge, thick Bible. I showed it in a haul. Um, it was a pretty good deal on that. Now you saw these in there too. I paid ten bucks for these. These date back. Like this one here is from the thirties. I usually get about 30 bucks a piece for these standard ones. It has a reddish frame, nice dark glasses. The best one in here, though, is this blue one. Now, I don't know if it's just because it's blue. It's gold filled. And I kind of knew that when I saw it right off the bat. I took a chance, and it sure is where these are marked. You look on the inside in here, and usually there's a name or a marking that'll say 14 karat or 14K GF. Good piece here. There's probably, if I couldn't sell these, which I could because they're blue lenses, they just don't show up very often. Again, you heard me in the video, I've had one of these in the last year at most. So this one here, I'll probably get about 45 for. So now we're up to 70 out of that $10. And here's another real nice one. The shape's just really supreme on it. Now this one I'm going to have to have tested because it does look like white gold, the bridge on the top too. So all told, there's at least 100 and some odd bucks in this one little bag that I paid 10 bucks for. The slip-on ones almost never show up. You can find the glasses, but the slip-on pieces, even though they don't go for a ton of money, but they, they just don't show up because people would lose them back then. So somebody who collects glasses is going to buy these, I'm telling you. Every piece of glassware like this for eyeglasses, I sell. I sell it rare, uh, very religiously, too. Now, some of the items I couldn't show you being purchased because the folks did not want to be filmed. I respected everybody's rights. Um, this is from Dollar of Toledo. Now, this is uh, E. It's got a, and this one has the E. This is a like a victory plant in that made World War II supplies. And it's got a 1944 date on it with crossed cannons. And it's uh, for outstanding achievement. This was given away to employees for how many pieces of military hardware were made during World War II. It's a letter opener on top of it. 
letter openers sell like mad for us. I mean, I don't keep them in-house. In fact, it's got writing I just noticed on it, too. It's really fancy on the blade there. Something like this, I'm probably going to put 75. I'll probably get uh, 35 to 45, maybe even 57 50 on this one. So it's a nice piece, nice investment uh, of five bucks on that one there. So now this one I nabbed up for a dollar too. I didn't hesitate for a second. Now you're going to run into some of these that have a darker background on it. It's from like 2017's tour. This is from, and I know it's 77, I think, or let me just double check the date. 77. This is the original Steve Miller, Abracadabra and the whole works. This is a real good one here. I can't find a comp on this one at all. I didn't go into Terra Peak, so I'll do that before I list it. But just off the top of my head, I might put 75 bucks or better, maybe even 150 on it. I'm not sure how popular Steve Miller is these days. Jungle Love was always a, one of my favorite songs by him. Um, we grew up listening to it in the 70s, so this is an excellent item. It's a tour book loaded with photos, a dollar. So I always snag that up here. And again, Patreon, you're going to see a whole bunch of the paper. All the religious stuff are going to be shown in Patreon for everybody there. And the postcards, I'll flip over the records in there too. Again, as I said, your postage stamp video will be up tomorrow for sure. Um, and let me show you the best part here. The best thing I got, this is alone. I've got a lot of videos for you guys on Patreon. You're going to see some close-ups, but I'm going to give you some keys. Now, I bought this, and you can hear me and my son talking about this. I just shot a video. Now, I just shot a video before I even went to this um, last week, and I didn't have a chance to do anything with it. It's on maps. It's on exactly what I found. So, it's just such a coincidence that I found a stack of nice maps. Now, these came out of a a atlas, and I, you can hear me talking to the lady. I've done this many times with buying atlases. Now, this one here, my wife's keeping. It's from Mississippi. There's a secret in buying these to know something, and you're going to get that in Patreon because, again, um, this is hand watercolored. All of the lines, every color bit of this is hand watercolored in every one. These are expensive back then. They're expensive now. She had 24 I think it's on the other side. Well, they were $24.50 a piece on these, which is really cheap for these. They would have been worth buying at $24.50, just to tell you that right off the bat. I got them for 60 for six of these, 10 bucks a piece. Now, I originally thought 75, but I looked up the edition these come from. They're larger than most of them. These are very large if you can see the size of these. Just these things right here, these top loaders for these are like five to 10 bucks for the ones this big. So, really good one here now. So, these are just excellent score. I've got Arkansas, it's got um, Mississippi and Louisiana. Key, my wife's area, so we're keeping that one, of course. And again, I'm going to show you these in a video on Patreon. These are from 1875, all of these, all the real deal. A, a United States map, again, these are some big bucks. I didn't realize that I could get that much for these. I know they're always good. I know 75 bucks is on average what I get for most of these, but so I originally, as I said, 75 bucks. So even if they were only worth 75 bucks for my 24.50, if I paid that for it, I'd have been raking out three times. I paid 10 now, mind you. This one here has got some special stuff to it. Again, I'll, I'll touch on that in uh, Patreon. That'll be coming up later. I'll show you this one here too. California. This is going to be a bigger dollar one here. I believe this is from the same edition. They always have a date. It'll say entered into Congress. Hand watercolor. This is a very nice one. It's got a lot of color, including San Francisco before the earthquake and the fires that they had there. This one alone, I might put 275 on. So I am way over that there. And I know I said estimate wise, you know, like $1,500. These maps could bring it up to, say, 2500 minimum, maybe up into the three grand area. These aren't exaggerated prices. I, I sell this stuff a lot. As I said, everything in my videos, I sell. Everything that I show you in, in Bolo videos are stuff that I honestly know because I buy and sell them. I am at home in a flea market. I am at home in an antique store. I know all these people. We've dealt with them for years. I joke around with a lot of them. We give each other hard times. Um, you know, this is my life. This is what I love. This is why I love eBay, because I get to touch the stuff that I, I love. I took history classes just because I, I wanted to know more about this stuff. Here's Texas. Nice one here. This one will go very, very well. Texas sells incredibly fast for us. I took my pick on them. I could have bought some more. I left some. 
Um, I didn't want to be greedy. There was another lady there that was interested in one of the ones I bought. So I didn't want to leave, you know, nothing for her. I don't have to have everything in every place. I showed up at the last day about four hours before they closed. So this is what was left over. It's sometimes great to do that because the prices are way down. You saw the price. Now, she miscalculated. I didn't think about it till after the fact. She said these maps would have been at 120. She had 24.50 a piece, so it would have been 150. So she marked it down from 150 technically to 60 bucks. So, you know, I do believe the lady went back and bought them because I ran into her later and she asked if I was following her. So if you're wondering what that was about, um, everywhere I went, I ran into her and, and um, I kind of know her a little bit because she's she's very pleasant. I did run into two of my patrons. So hello, you two. Um, unfortunately, I didn't wasn't videoing it as I should have been. I would have probably included you guys in there. They were in Patreon and been subscribers for a while. I'm not going to call it names because I didn't ask them yet, but um uh, you know, I was more interested in the conversation. We talked for a few minutes there too. So it's always nice to run into somebody who I talk to online in person. So that was a really interesting, um, you two too. I'm going to ask you guys next time we got there, maybe if you'd want to walk around with me sometime, we can do some videos together and I'll just kind of show you what to look for. We'll give you some ideas there. Uh, my son will be there to record or something like that, but, um, I'll hit you guys up too. So, um, now here's Iowa and Missouri. Again, these are nice. These are really good ones here. The best one, though, the one on the top that somebody else wanted, and I didn't want to get into a fight with anybody, of course. This is Brooklyn, New York. This is a very nice one. New York collectors go mad on some of these earlier ones. It has, like, um, transportation stations and things like that on here. So this is an early one. Obviously, New York's been around for a long time. So this is hand watercolored. Somebody's going to frame this piece. Don't frame them yourself. You just buy them sell them, let them deal with them. Whenever people buy these, they frame them themselves to put in an office or something. So they want to know specifics on it. So really nice one here. And again, let me just show you the close up so you can see the prices on these. This is a third the value on most any of these that I, I find, especially this size. Usually the ones that are say half the size of these, I can get sometimes, I know there's a lot of reflection, sorry, the plastic, but I can get, say, 15 or 20 bucks for the, the small ones and only pay a dollar for them. So this is just a touch on what I have. You saw some hat pins and some other things that I got um, at the sale. So again, I'm just showing you a, a mix uh, of what we got all together for that 236. Um, I'm just going to give you a rough estimate. I have a lot more postcards that I got too. I probably have... Over 200 individual items to sell out of that, $236. So I tell you, I got nothing into it. I sell one of the maps, I got all of my money back, and then I have 200 more items that I have nothing into. That's why I say I don't pay anything for this stuff. I'm not exaggerating. It's it's just like nothing when you, you, you look at it. Just the religious items alone, I mean, I'm just grabbing a little stack of them, it is a huge amount. There's, I mean, this is all individual cards. And I can get, you know, 25 to say even 100 bucks on some of those. Again, there's relics in there. Look up religious relic. Look them up on eBay and you'll see what the horrendous prices on some of these things go for. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you an idea and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.